Hey everyone, this is going to be the tutorial on how to do the uh, CC swap or CC warp and it's very simple to use, uh, no external plugins are needed um, it's a pretty effective um, effect to have in a montage, it works good with trick shots you know, nice uh, no scopes like collateral no scopes, regular you know triple collaterals you know uh, big clips like that, it's pretty effective, especially with the use of Twixter. Um, I uploaded a video just giving, like, showing it real quick of what it looked like. A lot of you liked it. And if you didn't see uh, that video, um, I have an example. This is just a regular example, no big editing done to it. Um, first, the subtle color correction and then the effect. Friendly spy plane inbound. You ever put me in your own? So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is open up After Effects, and I'm not going to go in through, you know, adding Twixter and stuff like that. This is just going to show this specific, that specific effect. So I'm going to go ahead and use the clip that I just used. Okay. I'm going to drag your clip down and make a new composition. And... That's the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> Delete. I'm sorry if I mess up with talking and doing stuff. I'm very tired. I've only gotten a couple hours of sleep. Had an incident happen last night, which I will gladly tell that story in my next commentary. But once you get your clip imported and in a new composition, um, I'm going to size it down a little bit. to that, doesn't matter. And what I'm going to do first is add the subtle, very subtle color correction. Alright, and then next I'm going to, with clip selected, I'm going to go to edit and duplicate, and duplicate the layer. Now for the top layer, the top of, uh, yeah, the top layer of the new, of the duplicated video, go to effect and delete the current color correction that you have. Alright, next what you're going to want to do is add another color correction. Um, this is going to be the color correction that is swapped over, that is warped over the old one. So real quick, I'm just going to do the same one that I just used. Alright, and what I'm going to do first, now that I have that, I'm going to turn this effect off and I'm going to go into the timeline and get to the part where he gets the no scope alright back it up a little bit now once he gets the hit marker is where you want the the new color correction to swap in over the old one so I'm going to back this up one frame I'm going to add, turn the effect back on, and you're, what you're going to do next is still with the top layer selected, you're going to go to Effect, Distort, and CC Lens, and it's going to create that bubble effect. Here you can see the color correction from the first, from the bottom layer of the video, and here's the new one that's kind of, you know, doing like a lens little bubble in. What we're going to do first is we're going to size it down to zero. And then we're going to come down to the top clip, the little arrow right here, click down on that, click down on the effects, and then click down on the CC lens. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a keyframe, so you're going to click the little stopwatch. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to go forward. Let's see, about I'm going to go about 15 frames, so one. about 15 frames then what you're going to do is just have it go from size 0 all the way to 500 and when you go all the way to 500 that will create a new keyframe so you won't have to worry about you know clicking the little keyframe button over here it will just automatically add a new keyframe and real quick I'm going to turn the resolution 
down to do a quick pre-render. And we're going to do a quick little pre-render on this to see how it looks. Probably should have sized the clip down even more, but oh well, it's just a tutorial. And actually, let's hit that. I'm going to get more towards the end of the clip. So as you see, as soon as he gets the, the kill, as soon as that hit marker comes up to the kill, it swaps over the, the new CC swaps over on top of the old one. Um, like I said, this effect is good for being used on trick shots. Um, you see a lot, this effect done a lot in Modern Warfare 2 montages when the player gets a, you know, a trick shot or, you know, a very nice, you know, collateral no scope or something of the sort. Um, it's very simple. Like I said, it's very simple. It's easy to do, and it's pretty effective. And really, that's that's all there is to it, guys. Um, I got a bunch of videos coming out soon. I got, I believe, like three commentaries. A, I finally got an edit of my own gameplay because I always do edits for other people's gameplay. I got a small little uh, mini edit of some of my own clips that I think are pretty decent that I'm gonna throw together. And then I'm going to be working on a montage with my friend uh, Berserk again as a kind of like a, as like a, I guess, you know, kind of like a farewell goodbye montage. It's going to be a COD 4 Modern Warfare 2 because, you know, if we're going to do a montage leading, you know, leading up to Modern Warfare 3. So be, uh, be sure to stick around. I'm going to have a lot of videos coming up and whatever tutorial you guys want next, just let me know. And that's it. See ya.